Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To master relationship is therefore about action, not about attaining knowledge. Marketize, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials up 140, NASDAQ up 53, S&P's up 14 and a half, gold contract down $6.80 trading at 13.15 an ounce. Silver, down 13 cents, $15.43 cents an ounce. Light sweet crew, we're gonna get those numbers out at 4.30, uh, another uh, uh, 20 minutes from now. Uh, crude hit $60.38 today. Uh, it was pushing it with volume, uh, up $1.19, closed out at 60.01. Uh, looks like it wants to uh, bust that level, so it's gonna be intriguing watching these numbers come out. Notes and bonds still want higher price. You get the 10 year note, that was up one tick, trading at the 124.12. 30 year was up, was flat at 149. And we hit um, another 12-month low out here on the 10-year at 2.398. King dollar. King dollar up 232 ticks, trading 96, uh, 300. Uh, what you have with King dollar, folks, King dollar is going after uh, the high that was generated out here in February. That's the, the high that we had taken out, February 15th. Uh, we'll see where we can get there, 96, 685. That, we had taken that high out on the 7th of March, and then it just gave it up in spades. And what that's all about, of course, is that it's all about the euro as well as the pound and Brexit. Uh, euro out here closed at the low of this day. We're at 112.70 right now. It's gonna be interesting with the euro. You know, your lower end of this consolidation is uh, basically 112, well, the low is 111.77, but uh, you're right at it, 112.17, we're at 112.70. Uh, so we'll see how that shakes out. Now, that being said, pound a little bit different. That's, a, that's not as much weighting structure, however, inside of the dollar index. Uh, we're going to get the movement on it, though. The next uh, couple of days, uh, you're going to have the parliament uh, voting on uh, Brexit, and now parliament is in charge of uh, the votes versus Theresa May, and the government being in charge of the votes. So now they've got a real problem on their hands. Uh, but British pound out here trading at 132.02. If we go up and we take a look at the S&P, this is what you have happening in the S&P. S&P out here today, uh, you had a bounce at 65 million shares. Uh, you're going into the uh, 122. Uh, these all look like they, get, they, they are potential ABC structures on the way down, folks. Uh, you basically came down with volume. You go up with lighter volume, having a hard time holding price. You know, uh, the SPY here had got to 282.18. Hold it. I couldn't have closed at the high. Let me see this thing. All right. I see what's going on. No, the high of, the high of today was uh, 282.18, yeah, 281.12, so it's off, it's off a buck. Uh, NDX 100, same type of setup. We take a look at the three Qs. What you're gonna see, three Qs were up uh, 83 cents, 32 million shares uh, versus uh, 70. Now this won't be an ABC down, but it's, it's having a hard time holding price because it's just, it's still really laying right at its highs. Small caps, different ball game. The small caps, no doubt, uh, they are the weakest indice out here. Uh, the Russell uh, IWM was up $1.58. He did 20 million shares. 20 is going into 40. Um, the high in the IWM is back at February 25th. If we go take a look at the actual uh, indice, the Russell 2000, what you're going to see here, let's see, are you T uh, index? No. So if we take a look at the uh, Russell itself, you're going to see the high, uh, 1600, 1602. And right now you have 1525. This baby's set up to bring it down to the next uh, leg lower. That next leg lower could, uh, what, that's 1600. You break that, yeah, like 1400. And you, you, your low out here is 1266, but it looks like you get a 1400 uh, under the belt here. Uh, that it can make a run for. Gold contract, what do we have with gold? Gold contract out there rejected the lower price. You could really had a sideways move. You still had a higher high in gold. We did 13.12, you closed at 13.16. That March 1st number is 13.16.50. That's the number you wanna stay over. Silver hasn't done it yet. Silver needs some action inside it. Silver hasn't broken the high of March 1st. That's your, that's your downdraft. 
That high is uh, 1566. Yeah, 1566. Didn't act, didn't act bad today, though. He backed 13 cents. He did 512,000, uh, I mean, 50, 51,000 contracts, which is a light contract volume. You're going to 72. Um, notes and bonds, bottom line is that uh, rates are coming down. If you're interested in uh, refinancing, start looking at it, because uh, when you do take a look at this, uh, if, in fact, this is an ABC structure on the way down and yields up in price, it is very well could uh, be coming at us very, very quickly, uh, getting into that uh, 2.01 to 2.0 rate. It's pretty amazing. You know, when we bring this back, we only have to go back three weeks, folks, and we're at 2.74. So picture this. You could, three more weeks, you could be at 2.0 or 2.1. Do you know what I mean? And yeah, just, to, just so you can really wrap your head around this for a second. If that's the case... That would mean that within six months, we came down one full percentage rate, point rather, inside the 10-year, that we, we had gone from 3.2 to 2.2. The thing about the percentage-wise, it's just, it's a monster. And what that will do is that that will bring those 30-year rates down to a 3.5, 3.65, uh, which, uh, guess what? We, I, I don't think we thought we'd actually see again. Do you know what I mean? Um, I really don't. Let's go take a look at uh, one of the houses, uh, KBH. Uh, KBH. Let's, so let's see what we have out here. You get KB Homes. That closed at $24.08. This is trading right now at $24.75. Uh, let's see what they have to say. So it's trading up $0.75. Cents. Um, let's see what they say. So uh, the estimate was... Uh, uh, 832 million they missed. They came in with 811 million. Earnings per share 31 cents. The estimate had uh, so what they did is this. They the estimate was uh, 26 cents. They came in with 31. So they beat on earnings. They missed on revenue. Uh, they're trading it up. And let me tell you something. This is one of the weakest home builders there are, folks. Uh, but what you're going to see, uh, it's up. You're going to see some traction here because when you do the math on the rates. Uh, Buying houses is all about what you can sign for. And when you come down this fast inside the interest rate structure, it makes a huge difference. Dow Industrials finished up 140, NASDAQ up uh, 53, S&P's up 15 and a half. We'll come right back.